reasons, but I kind of can understand why he's in that category. Now we have tier five, which is called The Living Legend, and that is Greg Popovich at number 14. Um, it's kind of crazy that Greg Popovich is only in tier five, but at the same time, like, he's in his own category as The Living Legend. So I guess I agree because he is a legend as a coach. So there's not much to say there. Tier four, we're getting to the top 10. Tier four is the obvious floor raisers. And we have Mike Brown, Chris Finch, Joe Mazzula, Tom Thibodeau, Mike Budenholzer, and Ime Odoka. Uh, I agree. Okay, so Mike Brown, I agree. He made the Kings better. Like, they, you can't disagree. Do we know that he's going to win a championship? I don't know, but the floor raising thing, I, that makes sense. Chris Finch of the Wolves, I also kind of agree. I feel like he definitely makes the Wolves better, but we haven't seen him be a championship coach yet, and maybe that's a little unfair, but I do kind of agree of having him in this category. Joe Mazzulla just won a championship, and <laughs> he's in the floor raiser category. It's kind of funny to me. Um, I don't know. I, I guess... I guess so, because I wouldn't put him in the elite category, which is one of the categories coming up. Because he hasn't even been coaching that long either. So, like, I don't know if I would put him in the elite, cat elite category, but it's kind of funny and ironic that he just won a championship and he's not even in the elite tier of coaches. That's kind of ironic. Number 10 is Tibbs, Tom Thibodeau of the New York Knicks. I think most people will agree with this just because of his reputation, whether that's fair or not. But when he goes to teams, he makes them better. But they haven't, you know, they did like the Knicks haven't won a championship yet with him. And a lot of people think that, you know, everywhere he goes, he makes the team better, but the players get hurt. <laughs> and I'm not saying whether that's fair or not. I'm just saying that's his reputation. Again, not saying that's fair. Just saying that's what people think. So the floor raiser name does kind of fit, you know, what his reputation is. Uh, Mike Budenholzer is now on the Suns. He also won a championship with the Bucks. A floor raiser is, I don't know if I put it, I feel like he is in a different category. I feel like Floor Razor makes sense for Mike Brown, Chris Finch, and Tibbs. I feel like it doesn't make sense for Budenholzer, but I don't know exactly what category I would put him in. But not that one. Um, Ime Udoka on a Floor Razor category? I don't agree with that. Ime Udoka, maybe it's a hot take, but I feel like he's in the elite category. We saw what he did with the Celtics, and we saw what he did with the Rockets last year. Yes, the Rockets didn't go many places, but that team was way better it's so obvious he's a really good coach. So I wouldn't, I would move him into the elite category. That's a hot take, maybe. I don't know, but that's my opinion. Now we have tier, uh, tier three. Uh, we have the wonder kinds. <laughs> Will Hardy of the Jazz, Mark Dagno of OKC. Both of them very young coaches, you know, making their teams better. And they just have a lot of, they're kind of in the, you know, looks promising but a tad early category kind of like I'm kind of confused why they're not in that category because it's like they're like it's the same thing like that's they're the same thing as uh Jamal Mosley so I don't really understand why they're not in that category with them but I think they're good coaches so clearly we saw what OKC did this year now we have the elites Number five, Ty Lue. Ty Lu. Number four, Steve Kerr. Number three, Rick Carlisle. Two, Nick Nurse. Okay. I don't agree with this. That's no shade against Nick Nurse or Rick Carlisle. But I would not have them above Ty Lue and Steve Kerr. There's no way. It's just, first of all, Steve Kerr. Regardless of, yes, he has Steph Curry, but he is a four-time NBA champion as a coach. Forget, you know, his playing days. A four-time NBA champion as a coach. 
He's not behind Rick Carlisle and Nick Nurse. I'm sorry. Just because Nick Nurse beat him when, you know, Kevin Durant and Clay unfortunately got hurt. I'm not I can't I can't get on board with that. And Ty Lu, even though he only won one, which is actually against Steve Kerr, um, it's so obvious Ty Lu is the second or third best coach in the NBA. His roster has been the Clippers and unfortunately Kawhi and Paul George, more so Kawhi, has not been healthy and it's, that's not even his fault. Every time that, like, the, he gets the best out of the Clippers. They exceed expectations despite the injuries. So I'm putting, whichever way you want to put it, Ty Lue at two, Steve Kerr at three, or Steve Kerr at two, Ty Lue at three. Rick Carlisle, Nick Nurse, they can be top five, but they can't be ahead of those two. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. And then number one, you didn't hear his name yet, so you should probably know who it is, but if you don't, the undisputed king, it is called, the category, is Eric Spolstra. And there's no debate there. Eric Spolstra is just in a tier of his own. He just knows how to coach. It's just crazy how good of a coach he is. Like, it doesn't matter who's on the floor, who's on the roster. Eric Spolstra can literally take a team to the NBA Finals even if they don't have a top five player in the league. They did it. Two seasons ago, they played Denver in the finals. And yes, the players had a lot to do with that, of course. But that was the team that everyone was like, there's no way they're going to go anywhere. And granted, obviously Jimmy went crazy, but like that team was the team with like seven undrafted players. And... Jimmy Butler was their number one player who was very good, but nobody says Jimmy Butler is a top five player. And they took out the Bucks along the way and they took out the Celtics and they went to the NBA finals and they were banged up. And so they didn't win, but Eric Spolstra, no debates, the best coach in the NBA. It's not even close. So thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream and let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with some of these rankings that was in the article.